There's a saying in the tech community, friends don't let friends roll their own security. Unless you were a security expert, unless you just have a massive amount of knowledge of different penetration tests, of different vulnerabilities, unless you're keeping up with the CVEs, you really should not be trying to DIY your security. DIY is great for home improvement, sometimes, but it's not great for enterprise scale applications. So you have a few different choices, especially if you're in the .NET stack. The one that we've seen the most success with far and away is MSAL, which is Microsoft Authentication Library, if memory serves. What it does is it allows you to drop it into your application and you can do OAuth with it. You can do Open ID Connect, you can do cookie authentication, you can do bear token authentication, and it allows you to declare what you want while writing the minimum amount of code. The good part about it is that Microsoft is constantly keeping up with the changes in the security landscape, which for the companies that we work with, we're primarily application companies, we're primarily business companies, we serve a business user. Security is something that they might have a department, but it really needs to be an organization specialty and Microsoft, far and away, is probably one of the best at it. Now, there are some downsides to using MSAL. You really have to understand where your authentication is coming from. If you have microservices, that might not be a good reason to go with cookie authentication. You might want to do JWT or bearer authentication. And the other part of MSAL that I think is really missing, which I honestly haven't seen anyone do right, it gets authorization correct. It gets authentication correct, but access, being able to answer the question, can the user actually access this particular entity, can they do this operation inside of the service to this entity? Very rarely are you gonna be able to find a library that lets you do that. Now there are some different strategies to do it and MSAL does get you part of the way, but if you have claims that you need to add to the token and you have a department that manages the Active Directory and they're not very responsive, sometimes you do have to generate your own bearer tokens. Sometimes you do have to add those claims in because there's just no way to do things feasibly. But the general recommendation that we give is the more you can delegate to libraries like Spring Security or MSAL, and the less application code that you have to write for security, that is only going to improve your security posture.